Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Kitty and today I am here to tell you about my upcoming auction. It is going to be August 7th, which is this coming Saturday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, <clears throat> winners will need to pay shipping. Um, I'm going to try to get through this quickly. I do have some uh, new items that I had worked on. So, um, so a few different different things this time. So, all right, let me get started. So I'm starting off with the larger paintings. This one, this is number one, it is a 14 by 14. Um, it was with, uh, I don't, red, blue, yellow, and green, yellow and, red, blue, and yellow, I think is all I put on this. But I call it a wiggle pour because I just kind of wiggled it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, I like how it kind of feathered out here. I don't know how I did it, but. So I'm not going to spend too much time on here. This is number one. Okay. Number two is another one with the same colors. Another wiggle pour. It's going to be my new thing, the wiggle pour. I like how it did on the end there. That corner is kind of cool. Number two, 14 by 14. And I'll, I'll show them um, up closer when they on the on the auction. Okay. Number three is a 12 by 12 Dutch pour. I used um, green, yellow, yellow, and then there's some uh, gold in here. So it really shimmers. Again, I'll show you closer. Um, I'll show it up closer during the auction. So that's number three. Number four is a 12 by 12, my blues and purples. You guys, if you know me, you know I love my blues and purples. This one is super shiny. They're all, they have all been uh, varnished. So this is another tree ring. Not another one, because I haven't showed you one yet. <laughs> but it's another one that I've done. So that's number four. This is really very bright in person. I really love this one. Okay. Number four. And then number five is a set. This is my eight by ten. I think I just posted the video not long ago. This is my eight by ten uh, double swipe that I did. It's for both of them. It's for the set. Oh, this is, I use the Pebio and uh, some Viridian, I think, on both of them. I think some Pearlescence White, but it sure does shimmer. So this is number five. You get both of them. Okay. All right. Number six is a hexagon that I did, a Dutch pour, and it measured from here to here, eight inches, so, so, um, this is a hexagon, and it was with the Pebio also, I might have to get that color, but, um, and I did gold, so it, it is, I don't know if you can see that right there, it's really pretty, so that's number six, Okay, getting into the smaller ones. I'm gonna bring them over here. All right, number seven is a six by six. I use like red and blue and I really don't know what else, but there's some orange in there. And so this is, I love those canvases. All the sides are done. It is varnished. 
So this is number seven. I'm going to show you something like that. All right. Number eight is a five by five metallic, metallic pour. You guys, you guys know I did a whole lot of metallic pours. So this is actually one of them. All the sides are done. Just a little one. Probably leftover paint that I had because I did so many. Okay, so there's number eight. Number nine is just a little guy. <laughs> so he's cute, a little four by five. Just a little. I, I named him Purple Sparkle because it's got glitter in it. I don't really know if you're going to be able to see it. Oh, got a little glimpse of it. There's just a little bit in there. But it's, it's pretty. It's got purple and white and black, of course. But there's number nine. A little purple sparkle. Number ten is one that I had done when I was doing all the Pebio. It's just a little four by four. A little Dutch pour. And I used uh, Viridian and Gold. And it really does shimmer also because of the Pebio and the gold. And I, oh, and I think there's also pearlescent in there. It's really hard to get it on. I have a few more I gotta show you. So, but I'll show you, show you more up close when when the auction is on. So, number ten, little four by four. Okay. Okay, so 11 through 14 are pendants, so I'm just going to bring these up and try to and just hope that they focus, because you know, I can never get them to focus. I'm so long. So this one's blues. Um, this one is green and gold, um, so it does have that shimmer in there. This one is viridian, and this one is purples and blues. So, I don't know if I'm going to be able to really bring it out. I'll have to look on my camera before I go on. But, yeah, it's not going to show. This one does have the gold shimmer in it. This Viridian and this this one, the purple and blues. I think those are um, those are metallics. It's really shiny. You got four pendants. I'm gonna leave those right there. All right, so that's fourteen. <coughs> Alright, 15 through 17 are things that I've been working on here lately, and probably the reason why I don't have a lot of painting, <laughs> because I've been doing a lot of resin work, um, meaning resin molds. So this is number 15. This was uh, done using a mold, a heart mold. So this has got some shimmer in it. These I use the Color Art pigments um, by Color Art, so they are super pretty. And the back, I had to tape it on so it wouldn't stay. But they're just little trinket boxes, little trinket, little trinket. Um, so pretty. Anyway, those were super fun to do. So that's number fifteen. I did do a few of them, but um, some of them did sell. So here's number 16. It's just a little bit of a different color than this one. Just a little bit. It's number 16. Same thing. I use, I use color art, the color art pigment for micas. 
Yeah. Um, number 17 is I used, it's an ashtray, yes, but it's a cool one because it's see-through from here down. And then I used interference powder for this part of the mold. So for half of the mold, I used interference powders. And I couldn't figure out what color I wanted to use, so I just used all of them. So there's purple, blue, silver, gold, and green in there. And then I had just topped it off with the silver, or the clear with glitter. All right, that's 17. And the, um, the interference powder was by, uh, from Let's Resin, I believe. Okay, so <clears throat> we're almost done. Let me use over here. All right, and it won't be an auction without coasters, right? Because <laughs> you guys know that I have tons, like tons. Okay, so number 18 is green and blue. I believe I used the Color Art um, powders also on these. These are so pretty, you guys. I don't even, I don't think I can even, I don't think it's going to even show up. But. So these are super pretty, sparkly, and I didn't even put glitter in them. But. So here's the first one. There's number 18. Number 19, I got the same colors there. This one reminds me of like some terrain out here, like trees and maybe some mountains and like a lake and a lake here or something. This one's really cool. I wish you could see that. Let me see it sparkle. It's really pretty. I like that one too. I like a lot of stuff, but can't keep it all, right? All right, so 20. I call it the web because it looks like a web. And same thing, I did use the color art on this one and the next one also. So pretty. That was a, another attempt at the uh, Shelly the Shelly uh, Bloom. I know everybody knows about the Shelly Bloom. This was. Um, I do have new stuff for it. I haven't tried it yet, but because I, I can't yet. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to have a whole bunch more of these. Okay, so 21. I call this bubbles because it looks like a bunch of bubbles. Same thing. I use the same colors as this one. Let's see how it. It's my focus, so I'll have to figure it out. So there's number 21, number 22 is purples and blues, believe it or not, with um, glitter. It's just a little bit. Uh, I put a lot of glitter in there. But I did do some magnets. Um, there, I don't have them there at work, but. If you like glitter and if you like purple, you can see the purple in the middle there. But it sure is sparkly, isn't it? All right, that's number 22. And the last one, I also had been playing around with alcohol inks. So I have more at work, but um, I grabbed this one. This one is black and gold alcohol ink. And if anybody does alcohol ink, you know there's quite the process you gotta go through after you let it completely dry. There's like all kinds of steps you gotta do before you even have to resin. Um, and I painted the sides gold. Super, super pretty. So there's that one. And that is number 23.
And that is the last one. So, there you guys are. 23 items for my next auction coming up Saturday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I hope to see you guys there, even if you just want to come in and say hi and hang out just to support a fellow artist or fellow YouTuber. YouTuber? Anyway, you guys, that's it. And um, I'm going to shut this down and get it downloaded and posted hopefully within the next few minutes. Um, all right, you guys, thank you all so much for watching. I really hope to see you there. And um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it out. Tell your friends and family, come over and hang out, all that good stuff. All right, you guys, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you on Saturday. Bye.